Hello, and welcome to this presentation on TrackStar, given by Christine Black for EDT 601 at the University of North Alabama. First of all, what is TrackStar? It's a teaching tool for creating tracks for interactive online lessons. Teachers can create a track by collecting websites, entering them into TrackStar, and adding annotations or comments for their students. They can create their own track or choose from thousands upon thousands of others created by teachers. Teachers can also search TrackStar's database for tracks by subject, grade, theme, or standard. TrackStar is a safe way for students to use websites without freely browsing the web unsupervised. If you want your students to research something, instead of just giving them the topic or a list of websites, all the websites that you want them to view are in one place with all of your directions. So how does it work? Well, first, of course, you'll choose a subject area and gather the information that you need. Then you will name the track. Then you will add a description. This description is a good place to provide information for other teachers to see what this track is about. You'll want to describe, describe the content, goals, objectives, and activities in your track. Then you'll want to choose a format. There are four different formats. The demo format is if you're just testing out TrackStar or if you think your track will be up for less than a week. The resource list format is for if the track provides a list of sites to support research projects, thematic units, skills and practice, or information gathering. The worksheet format is if the, if the track requires students to find short factual answers in the track's resources. And the extended learning format is for tracks that support higher order thinking skills. Then you will add sites to your track. You'll have a title for each of these websites, a URL, and your annotations. And that's the last thing you do. You add annotations or comments for each one of these websites. You can write questions, directions, and tasks for students to complete while visiting that link. A couple precautions I came across while studying about track, um, track star were to definitely back up the information that you are putting together on a word processor file on your own computer just in case your computer shuts down or the internet is unavailable for some time. If you're working on track star you could lose the information that you've already worked on. And also I would still supervise your students to make sure they remain on track star. So what does it matter? TrackStar allows for students to browse websites for a lesson without branching out onto the internet unsupervised or without any guidance. It gives the students objectives and direction in what websites to use. It is a great tool to use for website for web quests. It also allows for students to construct their own knowledge by exploring what the internet has to offer instead of us just standing in front of the classroom and teaching content. Making tracks takes a lot of time for the teacher, but it saves instructional time and in allowing students to explore on their own. So let's go for it. This is the website, trackstar.4teachers.org. It's run through for teachers. Okay, this is our home page of TrackStar. All you need to have a TrackStars account is your email address, and you'll just create an account with a password. Over here on the right side, you'll see where you can find a track. There are different ways that you can search. You can find a track by the track number. If somebody has created a track and they just know the track number, you could do that. Your keyword search, so you could type in World War II or firemen, plants, whatever. If you happen to know who the author is, the teacher that created it. You can browse by themes and standards or subjects and grades. So let's look at themes and standards. If you wanted to do something with science, grades K through 4, you could click on this. Your themes. Let's say if we want to do human beings, and here are all of the tracks in this category. Let's go ahead and look at these. It would look about the same if you just typed in, in a keyword search. Here in the blue is the link to the track annotations by this person right here, Crystal. And here's her description. This track is designed for 5th and 6th graders studying the different systems in the human body. Over here, you'll see the track number. You'll see the format that it's a worksheet. It was last modified in 2007. I always check these dates because sometimes these tracks just don't work anymore. 
but we'll click on it and see what happens. Here's our title again and description, and she says that it's for intermediate grades. You can either view in frames or in text. I'll show you in text. It's just a list of links, so I prefer to look in frames. What it is is you have a, a top frame over here and a, and a one to the side. Now see, this is where we have a problem with the older ones. Um, this 11 body systems apparently isn't working. Let's try kid info. Okay, this one's working. So here on the left are all of the websites that the teacher lists. She has 10. And then across the top, here, kid info right here, that's the title of just the one website where it's located on the internet and if there are any questions. Since there's a scroll down bar here, we know there's more. She has two questions right here, and so what she wants you to do, and why this is considered a worksheet, is because the students have to answer these questions using this website. So you see the website is just kind of included in this window here. When they're finished with these questions, they would go to the third one, the Human Anatomy Online. Here she has two questions again. You would answer the questions and move along. So this is a fairly good track here for the body systems. Okay. Down here you can see top tracks. There are a list of a lot of great tracks. Um, this one is really neat. This month's track a day for each month, for each day of the year they have a track that they post for each day. So that's pretty neat to, to sort through those. There's also tutorials. There's professional development center. Also take a look at the copyright use. It's very important that if you have tracks with two to five links, don't collect more than two of your links from one source. That can be some copyright issues, so please be careful with that. But let's get into the meat of it and start making a track. So I'm going to go to my account. Here's a track that I have already made, but I want to make a new one with you today. I'm going to click on Make New Track. A web quest that I did when I was an intern. I worked with another student teacher, and we came up with a web quest. I believe Track Star is a great way, is a great tool to use in doing web quests. So we did a citizenship project as a web quest. It was right after the tornadoes had run through on April 27th in the southeast and um, so we decided to integrate social studies and science and we hit some course of study standards but they came from all different grade levels but just um, we wanted students to be able to see their civic responsibilities as participating members of the community and um, explain how um, our country can be improved by participation in public service um, also we wanted them to learn the science behind specific weather phenomena and then of course use um, the computer and the internet correctly and safely. So we wanted students to first des describe the causes and effects of natural disasters. Three we focused on in this one was uh, were hurricanes, tsunamis, and tornadoes. Then we wanted them to develop an awareness of tragedies that occur in distant countries and also close to home. Developed character that inspires them to get involved when there are people in need and educate others with natural disasters. So what we would do, we would pair students up, an older student and a younger student, and they would do a web quest together. And we, um, we gathered books for them to research and then also had websites online ready for them. And so what they had to do was um, they had a worksheet and they had to answer basic questions about one of the specific weather phenomena. For example, the tornado. They just had to find information on tornadoes. And then um, what they had to do then is cr create an aid organization to aid in the relief effort of the tornadoes, the tsunami in Japan, or Hurricane Katrina, whichever one they they chose. And they had to come up with a name and a logo for the organization and decide what the organization will do. And, and also they had to come up with a plan on how to educate the community on this disaster. So now we're going to create a track star for it. So I'm going to title it um, Current Catastrophic Events Citizenship Project. And the description will be that 
this web quest challenges students to come up with ways to help those in need after catastrophic events. Okay, of course I would probably go into more detail if I were um, doing this for my class. Keywords is important to type in here for um, teachers to be able to search. So keywords would be catastrophic events, citizenship, um, whatever you think will help um, teachers search for your tracks. I'm going to say that it's, it's mostly a resource list in this case. I'm going to say it's social sciences and science. Grade level, I'm going to say intermediate. Here, this keep until you can have it on a calendar. You can choose how long you want the track to be available. And you can also have a password so that the students have to have a password to access it. But both of these are optional. I click next. And my Safari doesn't like this page. So bear with me for a second. <laughs> okay. Now what I have to do is just <clears throat> um, put in my sites. The instructions are over here. You can provide up to 15 links. And using these arrows here, you can move the links up and down so they can be in a certain order. The red X is to remove the link. And then this uh, magnifying glass will show you how to preview it. So, for example, I found a website, HurricaneKatrinaRelief.com. And it's about all the ways that you can help with the um, assistance of the Hurricane Katrina victims and how you can be prepared next time, which is part of the web quest. The students had to educate the community on how to be prepared for the next catastrophic event. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the web address. I'm going to put it in here for URL. Then you'll give it a title, and I'm just going to put the title that was the title of the website. Hurricane Katrina Relief. And then your annotation is where you put in your directions. So, for example, if you want them to um, find ways to help or how to be prepared next time, just point out what you want them to do. So I might say, find two ways people can help. And then I might say, um, come up with a plan to be prepared next time. Okay, so of course you might want to add a lot more and there's this whole toolbar where you can add all sorts of things with that. And for time's sake, I'm just going to, this example of what not to do, I'm going to copy and paste the same link just for now. Um, but you need at least two sites in order for this to be a track. Then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click save. And sure enough, it says that it has been created. I'm going to go back to manage tracks. And here it is. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click view and frames. And here it is. The website's here in the middle. The directions are on the top. And the websites will go down on the left side. So I think TrackStar is a great tool. I think it's great to use for web quests because everything is right there that you just have to give the students the, the track number and, and they're on the track and, and working hard. And um, of course, web quests are a great way for students to, to construct their own meeting and, and learn on their own. So um, TrackStar is just a great place to just put resources for students. Um, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and you'll be able to use it in your own classroom.